Good morning, children. How are you all doing? I hope you all are keeping well. So, in this math uh, mathematics class, we are um, going to learn subtraction from lesson number eleven. We had done subtraction in the previous chapters, right? But that was only from one to nine. In that lesson, what did we learn? We learned what subtraction is. What are the words which are related to subtraction? When you say minus. when you say how much is left when you say what is the difference between 4 and 5 5 and 4 so difference what is left what is my uh, when you say minus all these are related to subtraction correct so the sign for subtraction is a sleeping line or a dash which is called minus so this is the sign of subtraction so any number between any number you see the sign which means that means it is subtraction okay so we had done subtraction from 1 to 9 now the subtraction in this chapter what we are going to learn is any number which is subtracted the difference that is whatever is left the answer will be less than 20 so within 20 is what we are going to learn so the first sum here i have written is 8 minus 5 When you say eight minus five, what does it mean? You have to take out five from eight. That is subtraction. Now in here I have made a set of box. So let's see how many boxes we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight boxes, right? One box, one long box is segmented or made. into eight parts so from this eight i have to remove or take away five boxes so what i do i have to take away five so from here we'll do i am going to shade five boxes 1 2 3 4 and 5 so i have to remove five So from eight boxes, I am taking away or shading away five. So how many? How much is left? How many boxes are left? Is the answer. So how many boxes are left? So this one, two, and three. So we are left with one, two, and three. Three boxes. We have got three boxes. So our answer for eight minus five is three. Okay, children. So we have eight. From eight, we shaded away five box. The remaining three boxes are left unshaded. That is the answer for eight minus five. That is three. So we have seven minus seven. Let's see what happens. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven box. Now I'm going to shade all the seven because I have to remove seven out of seven. Four, five, six, and seven. So what happens? I have reshaded all the seven boxes. That means I am left with nothing. When you say nothing, that means you are left with zero. So any number subtracted or minus with the same number will give you zero. So out of seven, I have removed seven. So you are left with zero. Now there's the other way of subtraction is ten minus six. You can still make ten boxes and shade away six boxes. Or the other way of doing is we have the grouping of tens and units, which we learnt in the previous chapter. In addition, there are given set of numbers. One number is added to another number, so we group in tens and we write, right? So we learn to to add. Now we'll group in tens and learn to. subtract so in subtraction what happens in addition what we did we put the how many numbers we have we grouped it to 10 and then we added in subtraction what we do we put the lines how many we have we take away first we subtract then we group into 10 to see how much we are left with okay children so i have 10 so i am drawing i am writing drawing 10 lines 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have to minus six. I have to minus six. So I will. I will take away six. That is cancelling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स आई कैंसल्ड सिक्स लाइन सो हाउ मेनी लाइन एम आई लेफ्ट विद वन टू थ्री फोर सो आई एम लेफ्ट विद ओनली फोर सो फोर इज फोर डजन कम इन द टेंथ कॉलम बिकॉज इट स्टिल द यूनिट कॉलम सो हाउ मेनी टेंथ आई हैव I don't have any group of ten, so it is zero. How many units I have? One, two, three, four. So I have four units, correct? So zero tens and four units is what I am left with. So from one ten and minus six units, I am left with four units. The answer is four. So you have to write straight to the four, not in the in the unit column. You have to write not in the tens column. So I'll go to the next sum. I have written here very clearly tens and units. You all can do the same thing in your notebook. Whatever I have written on the board, please copy it in your notebook. This will help you all to understand the uh, subtraction well. So write down tens and units. Under the units you have to write two. Under the tens you have to write one, which makes twelve. And under the units column it's five. So it's zero tens. So twelve minus five. What you all do? Twelve minus five. I draw twelve lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve lines here. I have to take away five minus five. So I'll have to take away one, two, three, four, five. So I cancelled five sticks or five lines from this. How many am I left with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I am left with seven. So that is tens or units. I am left with tens or units. Units seven units because I don't have any group of tens here. So zero tens. So I'm left with seven units. So I will write straight to the units column. So twelve minus five is seven. Now fourteen minus eight is how much? Fourteen minus eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have fourteen lines, and I'm taking away eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I removed eight out of it. What I have, what do I remain with? One, two, three, four, five, six. So what am I left with? I have left with one, two, three, four, five, six. So when you see in the tenth and units column, in the tens I again don't have a, any set of ten numbers. So ten, zero units I have left with one, two, three, four, five, six. Left with six units, correct? If it's ten, then I'll immediately write one here. But I don't have any tens group of tens. I only have set of six sticks, so that will come under units. So fourteen minus eight is six units. So I'm writing it under the units column, not in the tenth column because it's only six units. So that's what is given in your textbook, children. If you go to your page number one hundred and twenty-two, so you have. subtraction and you can these are the examples which is already given to you all go through it that's what i have done and now we go to the take away system so when you go to page 123 when i say take away 9 from 19 what does it mean i have written here take away 9 from 19 which means i will again write tens and units column it will be Easy for you all to understand. You also follow the same thing. Always write the tens and units column. Then take away nine from nineteen. So which is a big number? Nineteen will come first. The big number will come first. And what you have to take away? When you say from nineteen, that number comes after from will come first. That will be a big number. And take away what? Nine. So that's going to be a smaller number. Take away means minus, and it is a single digit number. It's a unit number, so I'm writing in the unit column. So nineteen is double digit number, so one in the ten column, and nine in the unit column. So.
so 9 will come under the units column so we have to minus 9 from 19 so how do we do that I will draw 9 sticks 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so 19 lines I had drawn and we have to remove how many children? 9 sticks. So let's cancel 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I removed 9. What am I left with? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have left with 10. So what do I do? I group. I make a group of 10. Correct? I have left with 10 lines. So I am making it in a group of 10. Because I am removing 9 lines from it. So when I say 10 so units. How many of units I am left with? I am not left with any units. Because I have, I have only 1 group of 10 lines. So 1, 10 and 0 units. Because there is nothing out of the circle. Nothing is left. Right? So... 19 minus 9 is your 10. 1, 10 and 0 units. Correct children? I hope you all understand how to do this. When you say take away 9 from 19, it's given here very clearly. You have to draw 19 lines. Remove 9. What is left is what you are circling. And that will go under your tens and units column. So 19 minus 9 is 10. So when you go to the next page, you have your exercises. Take away 11 from 17. Take away 11 from 17 is a question. I will do one for you all. I want the remaining sums to be done by you children. Okay. So the first sum is take away 11 from 7. So when you say take, I mean 17, take away 11 from 17, so from 17, 17 is your big number, I am writing 10 in units, 1, 10 and 7 units, 17 minus, when I say take away, it's minus 11, 1 unit, 10 and 1 unit is 11, so how much do I get? So I will draw 17 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I have 17 lines. How many you have to remove? How much you have to take away? You have to take away 11. 1 and 1. So let's remove 11 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I removed 11 lines. What am I left with? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have, I am left with 6. So it is 6 units and 0 tens. Because I am not left with any group of 10 lines. Because here we had left with one group of 10. But here we do not have any 10. We have got only up to 6. So we are left with 6 units. 17 minus 11 is 6. So this is how you have to do your subtraction. Children, just write down this in your book. And then do all your sums in your textbook. You have page number 124. There are 4 sums which says take away sums. I have done one for you all. That's take away 11 from 17. I want you all to do the remaining three. And then you have solve 8 minus 5, 9 minus 6. All these sums have to be done in this manner. In the same manner, there is place space next to. If you, do, you don't have space, you can copy the same question in your number work notebook. Uh, copy 8 minus 5. Do this line system. Arrive at the answer and write the answer. Do not struggle writing in this small place. So copy the question in your classwork and do the way I have taught you all. This is subtraction where the difference is less than 20. As we once you all are thorough with these, we'll go in a few future subjects. You'll have to deal with 
big number so please learn this thoroughly okay be familiar with your addition and subtractions it will help you all further okay take care children goodbye